Welcome everybody to the Heavy Leather Topless Horror Show. Woo! I'm your old pal Ken, aka Sleaze Grinder, uh, and to my left, this year's everybody, the Queen of Halloween, the Scare Wizard. It's Kelly Kapow. And to my right, there she is, everybody. It's Chachi to my Fonz, the Jesse to my Walter. It's Stacey DC. Yeah! Did we just see pearl buttons over there? The return, that's uh, really incredible. Uh, a big show today. Now, this is the, uh, the the week before Halloween, and the goose, the ghosts and the goblins are all out. We're in the thick of it. We are in the thick of it. So tonight, we're very excited because we have some actual ghost hunters that are coming on the show wow. to uh, talk about what it's like chasing down and, and I'm, I'm assuming abduct, abducting and then incarcerating i don't know what you do once you once you get a ghost i don't either I don't know. but we'll find out what that's like also just saw her a minute ago the incredible pearl buttons is here yes. she's gonna she's gonna perform she's gonna perform with the band yes i've missed her so much that is gonna be uh beautiful Lyrser is gonna present us with a, a chilling new murder minute we always love those love them can't get enough uh, Lauren's here. She's going to class up the joint with a little bleeding rainbow. What? The electric wizard herself? Yeah, the energy warrior. <laughs> uh, and also, we're going to play uh, everybody's favorite Halloween party game. Bobby for apples? Nope. Let's go to the cauldron. Yes. <laughs> Everyone's favorite. Yep. Everybody loves let's go to the cauldron. Uh, formerly known... Stacy, as? Let's go to the garbage. Formerly known as Let's Go to the Garbage, but we're in Salem now. So you got to spook it up. You got to right. spook it up. And I am a witch today. So. And she, she is a, a witch today. A hag. But before that, <laughs> let's say hello to our house band, Hammered Saint. You got Andy, you got Johnny, you got Sam, you got Jake. It's a good looking crew. Good looking crew. Are there they, they are. Hammered? I don't know. Uh, some of them, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Uh, thank you. Uh, Hammer saying, how are you guys feeling tonight? We're feeling good. They're feeling good. They're <laughs> feeling good. They're looking good. Mm. Now, let's get things rolling. You guys want to find out about a little uh, murder? Oh, Bring it on. Cool. People love murder these days. Can't get enough of it. I live and die for it. Here she comes, everybody. <laughs> it's Lassa with the Murder Minute. Say, so give her a give her a microphone. There she goes. All right. Uh, I'm worried about this. Me too. Uh, thank you, Larissa. Incredible out uh, costume you got there. Thank you. Uh, you are going to uh, tell us about some. Mer Is it your cousin that you're telling us about? No, today? no, no, no. no. Uh, I'm gonna talk about a classic Black Widow, Maria Velton. Okay. Here we go. So Maria is considered a classic black widow and she spent 20 years killing people. So the first person that she killed was her father. In 1963, she poisoned him. And then in 1970, she poisoned her aunt. And when she was questioned, she said that they just fell sick. Sure. And she didn't know how to take care of them. Valid. So nobody questioned her anymore about those. And then she decided, huh, I can do this for money. So she killed two of her husbands yep. and then a boyfriend. Okay. So she was caught then in 1983 in West Germany. And she couldn't say, I didn't kill them because she made some profit out of it. And she was arrested and sentenced to life in prison. And that's Maria. Velton. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Lisa. There she goes, everybody. I mean, she could have got away with just her dad, maybe, but. That is. um. It's suspicious when sometimes you Sometimes when you start, partners. you just can't stop, you know? That's, right? the, that's the first time a, the a, a dinosaur ever delivered a uh, murder story. <laughs> to me, anyway. It does seem like murdering is like eating chips. Once you start, you just can't stop. <laughs> After the first one. Pringle. It's Pizza. like what they say. I remember uh, Stephen Tyler said to me once. He said to you? He said to me. He said, listen, second million, that's easy. It's the first million that's hard. It's the oh. same thing with murder. So once you get past, like, the first two? Yeah. Everything's a cakewalk? Everything's a cakewalk from there. You know just what to do. By the way, so Stacy is, of course, the Wicked Witch of the North Shore. Is that I, what thought, I thought she was the Warlock of Salem. The Warlock. I'm whatever you want me to be. Yeah, exactly. 
and you are the spider lady. Yeah. She's the spider lady. <laughs> so good. I bet you're freaking anyone out with the spider phobia. And I'm a slice of pizza. You look delicious. <laughs> Thank you. More like a slice of heaven, buddy. <laughs> Piece of that ass. Elvira's <laughs> birthday yesterday. She turned 70. She looks fucking great. All right, everybody. Listen, uh, in Salem, ghosts are big business. I think we all know that. Yeah, there's money in ghosts. There's yeah. money in ghosts. So, you would, as you would imagine, there's money in chasing them down. And we got... Hey, is there, are there ghost hunters here? We've got uh, some actual, authentic ghost hunters to tell us all about what it's like to chase them around. Here they come. It's Fritz Baum <laughs> and... Uh, I guess Mike Baum. Wait, these here guys, they, these guys are a big deal. Here they come. Here they, I know, oh, they're I huge. Guys come on over, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Authentic. Authentic. Here, come on in. Squeeze in. Squeeze in. Give those guys a microphone. Here you go, you two. I got, uh, I got a lot of questions, as I'm sure you do too, Kelly. Mm. I'm sure you do, Stacey. You ever get any questions for these uh, guys? They chase ghosts around. Oh, there's plenty of questions. Yeah. There's plenty of questions. We get that all the time. I have plenty of questions for you too. <laughs> what sort of uh, training have you fellas had? Is there like kind of yeah. ghost chasing school? Certificate? Yeah. It's more of a personal experience and how you uh, deal with that and where you go with it. So YouTube. They learned it on YouTube. Does one learn to dance or does one just be born dancing? You know? <laughs> I understand what you mean. Yes. I have a question. Um, yeah, have right. you ever been attracted to a ghost? Oh, excellent question. There's got to be sexy ghosts yeah, out there. Yeah, did you date any of the ghosts? Um, <clears throat> well, dating ghosts can be hard as, um, you know, they're not always the most reliable of people. A ghosting, I see. Oh, oh yeah, right. Ghosted. <laughs> Ghosted by a ghost, right? You get it. Can you imagine? Yes, yep. I, I find myself very attracted to ghosts. That's why I chase them, Ken. <laughs> What type of ghosts are we looking for usually? Are there a specific kind? Oh, I'm very much into spooky ghosts. Okay, spooky ghosts. Okay. Me too. That's what I like. I like a I'm nice, I like a nice soft sheet. But I also believe in ghost autonomy. They can come with any type of sheet they like. And I have been told, I have been told I'm a real freak in the sheets. <laughs> are you guys, uh, you guys related at all? How, how did you get together? What, what happened? How did you form a team? Well. You know, one day I was walking by an old crickety uh, haunted house, uh, you say, maybe, and uh, I walked in and I discovered very quickly that uh, this house was actually uh, Mike's house. <laughs> <laughs> yes, unfortunately it was uh, occupied at the time. Yes, and um, he was saying, oh, goodness, goodness, you are, you are here. I have been experiencing some creaking on my stairs, and I do not think it is the wood of the stairs. I think maybe there is something going on here. So I said, okay, well, I'll take a look. So I went over to the stairs, and I said, oh, yes, these are some very spooky stairs you have here. And that was our first adventure together. We hung out in the stairs, and we talked for hours. It was wonderful. All right, that's very good. Now, uh, I wonder, as a child, did you experience any supernatural or paranormal uh situations uh well the stairs were definitely the biggest stairs, one but i definitely was, yeah, had a, a couple of steps before that yeah <laughs> so a lot of your ghost chasing has been around stairs walking upstairs walking downstairs that There's kind a of, lot thing. of activity when it comes to stairs, yes. Okay. So everybody's got their niche, everybody's got their specialty. Well, can I mean a, a ghost cannot climb a ladder? Are there any rituals around ghost hunting, like before you head out? Um. Well, uh, do you mean how to? How does one provoke a ghost? Is that yeah, what you're asking? Yeah. Do you asking? need to get in touch with something with yourself? Oh yes, yes, yes. First. Definitely. Uh, what I like to do is I will go into a room in which I believe there may be a spirit that could be contacted. I'll say, uh, place, if you will, a hand on my tummy, <laughs> and I will say, I will say, do you feel? Do you feel these butterflies that I have inside? And then I will follow this question. If I'm not answered, I will say, this, this is how ghosts cry. <laughs> now I have an important question. This is something that I think about a lot, and I think maybe you do too, okay. Kelly. Is how come some people end up as ghosts and some people just end up as, as dead people? I mean, like, you know, what's the, how, do, how does, how come one of us is a ghost and one of us is just dead? Um, do you get to choose? 
I mean, what's the what's God? Explain that to us. Well, my personal belief is that can uh, you seem like a very party guy, a guy who likes to party. Do you like to party? Ken? I love a good like, time. Oh, yeah, I love we a good love time. a good party. Yeah. Yes, Mike and I like a good party, don't we, Mike? Yeah. Every now and then, but yes, uh, a big party is a uh, is a is a sign of you will be you will be felt once you pass on oh, yes, for sure yes. people who love to party they love to become ghosts after they die and so they, I think a big part of it, seeking yes yes big part of it is party seeking some oh, people all of us they, are going to be ghosts so most maybe. so you're saying that ghosts are just party people that haven't left yet you yes. just can't let and, it go. And often, often you will find these people at, at parties in the living. There are those people who stay way too late. And you say, <laughs> why is he still here? The party is, is over. Yeah. And he is still so not That makes sense. Uh, that makes remember, sense. this is just a theory that we have at right. the time. So we are still running our tests. the unfinished business partying? Yes, yes. Yes, yeah. okay, great. And, so and, and nobody can tell you to go at that point. I mean, you're just there. So, uh, so far, I know you've had a very illustrious history in ghost chasing here in Salem. Uh, illustrious what? is a Exhausting. word for it. What has been your number one? What's the ghost chase story you tell at parties all the, the time? The one that got away. Well, there was the one that was not only haunting the stairs, but the banister to the stairs as well. Oh, which yes, the banister. That, <laughs> the banister guy. That, caused, sure. uh, that caused us quite quite the amount of grief trying to get it out. But um, at the time, we were just not, uh, well, together we were not strong enough, but... And, and, and at that ghost, I, I walked up to that banister and I said, do you expect me to just stand here alone in this house so cold? So uh, thank you. And so far, this has been great. I think we've learned a lot. Yeah. But I have a special treat for our ghost uh, chaser friends here. What do you? Fritz and Mike. Huh. Listen to this. So it turns out, I was talking to Steve before the show. Turns out, Steve, he's the he's one of the guys who runs the station mm -hmm. here. Uh, he's telling me, they're like if, if you want ghosts, we got we got ghosts. We he got them. He says we got ghosts. Look like, around. We have a party here. It does not surprise me one bit that there would be a ghost in this party. He's telling me there's been a guy haunting. There's been a ghost haunt. I don't know if it's a guy. It's a ghost. Uh, I don't know the gender of ghosts. But there's been a ghost haunting this station for years. And if we want them. We can just uh, we can just ask for him. Just call out for him. Yeah, just call out for him. Ghost. Here you Wait, go. You three times. You ready? It's funny. Ghost. Normally, this Two. type of thing doesn't One more. work. Ghost. Oh my God! Here he comes. <laughs> it's a real it's a party guy. It's a real. Now be party careful. Guy. Be careful not to touch Did him unless that? he touches you first. Okay, it's a very, good. Very consensual delicate. ghost. Yes. Consensual yes. ghosting. Yes. We All do right. not oh, want to. Oh, 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 we have a drinks to ghost. I love these. I think ghosts. he might be one of those. Ghosts so of Salem Access Television. I think he might be one of those poltergeists. All right, uh, calm down, ghost. ghost. All right, come over here, sit down, ghost, and uh, we'll 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 find out. Maybe we'll find oh, out something about the ghost. Right just make yourself comfortable. Go ahead, sit right, right on the line. Go sit right on, right on the stairs. Oh. There you go. Oh my there knee, we go. it's so soft. Now, this ghost now is that so we soft. have an actual ghost here, maybe we have a question for the ghost, uh, ghost hunter. Yes, a, a common question we have for ghosts is, uh, why, why are you here? <laughs> because. Uh, they kicked me out of Lynn Public Access. Oh, yes, yes. They are known to give the boot over there in Lynn. They are. Is this uh, Bella Lugosi? Who is this ghost? No, it's, it's be Hollis perhaps ghost. it's Bella Lugosi. <laughs> <laughs> so are you looking to settle down here? Are you, are you getting what you need out of this place? Well, you know, it has its accommodations. There's a nice kitchen and whatnot, but... Uh, I yearn for something a bit nicer. Unfortunately, a gothic manor just wasn't in the budget. You're looking for stairs, yes? <laughs> I guess I you're suppose. not a fancy ghost. There's Too not bad. many stairs in this building. It's very flat. There are not many stairs in all of Salem, actually. I have heard that from other ghosts, and I believe I can confirm it is true. There are no stairs in Salem. I, I didn't know that we would get bogged down in stairs talk. Thank you, thank you, ghost. Out of here. You're very light. I will haunt your dreams. <laughs> very light for a ghost. That was a all nice right. ghost. All right. Uh, well, that was a nice treat. All right. Listen, Ghost Hunters. Yeah. Uh, you've really illuminated us. We've learned a lot. Uh, my question is now, uh, what's next? What's next for you two? Oh, I mean, Ken, what isn't next? I mean, there's there's a whole world of spooky places for me to go check okay. out. We, yeah. Mike, Mike and I. I mean, yeah. Mike, I mean, what would you say is next for us? 
handicap accessible ramps. Wow. Oh. You see, handicap ghosts uh, is not a, a an area of ghost hunting that you really see represented enough in yeah, no, representation of yeah. that. Let's be more inclusive in our ghost chasing. Yes, exactly. Hell yeah. I love it. All right, thank you, ghost uh, hunters, uh, Fritz and Mike. You can get out of here now. There they go, everybody. It's the ghost hunters. There they are. It's the ghost hunters. Go chase some ghosts. The there they go. You know, right, y'all? There they go. Thank you, guys. Thank you, ghost hunters. Don't go too far, though. I need, I need one of you in a little bit. All right. Uh, now, we're going to... Let's slow things down for a second. Slow down. Let's slow things down for a second. Now... We like to goof around around here. We like to, you know, we like music and we like dance and we like all those things. But, you know, at the end of the day, we like to sit down and read a little bit, you know, yeah, right? Yeah, sometimes you have to read people. No, not people, books. <laughs> <laughs> right, I mean, people should read books. That's right. It's time to get uh, spooky and smart. Here she comes, everybody, the energy warrior, the bookworm. It's Lauren. Yeah. Hi, Hi, Lauren. <laughs> Uh, welcome. Howdy. Hi, how's it going? It's it's going pretty good. How are, are you? Are you doing like a Wednesday Adams thing? Is that what's up? No, I'm Moth Woman. Oh, you're Moth, moth oh. Woman. Okay. I can be Wednesday Adams. It's interchangeable. Okay, all right. <laughs> Wait, what kind of moth? What, who's the Moth Woman? Um, Me. I'm the no, Moth Woman I'm right now. Mothman is cursed, though. I'm going to oh. curse this studio. Okay, all right. I shouldn't even be here right now. Okay. Gosh. I'm, Listen, I'm haunted. This place is haunted. Now, now I'm here. This is bad news. It's time for the bleeding rainbow. This is the part of the show where Lauren tells us about a spooky book that she has read. Here we go. Analog. There you go. Analog. I don't always do analog, but I did it this okay, time. Good. So I'm going to talk about Verity by Colleen Hoover today. There we go. This book is all over the internet right now because it's messed up like very messed up it's about a lady named lowen and she's a struggling writer and she her mother just passed away she was taking care of her mother she needs money desperately and she's in debt she meets this really really hot guy in a bathroom mm -hmm. as we Hi. as we want to do how you did know? she meet the hot guy in a bathroom she saw a guy die in the street and All then right. got his blood on her so that's okay. how the book starts to give so us a little bit. So she went into the bit. bathroom to clean off the blood. Yeah, yeah and the guy, and the guy was in the bathroom. Day. And the guy, yeah, she was having a pretty wild day. It so was like a meat cue. It was like a co-ed bathroom. It was a meat cue because a guy's head exploded on her. Oh, so wait a minute, was it? Was she in the men's bathroom yeah. or was it just okay? I can only assume. I don't really know. I All didn't. Right. I didn't look that far. I don't. Okay. I don't remember that being mentioned. However, right. she gets the shirt from this Hawkeye. But then it turns out this Hawkeye's gonna hire her for a job because he knew who she was the whole time. Okay. Mm. It's a little weird. His w wife- What kind of a job? A writing job. Oh, a writing job. So she's a writer, but she doesn't think that she's like- And all this happens that's in successful. the bathroom. All this happens in the bathroom. Um, and then she gets hired to do, um, to write books for Verity, who is his wife, who's a very famous thriller writer. So she goes to their house in Vermont, New England, very yep. on brand. Yep. Uh, we love books that take place in New England, at least I do. Um, can't get enough of them. Can't, can't get enough of them. If they're in Salem, eat, eat them right up. Oh my God. Yeah, love it. Anyway, so he, she goes to this creepy ass house with the hot guy. His wife is totally incapacitated for an unknown reason. Hmm. She's in bed. No questions, hmm. right? Hmm. <laughs> no questions. She's just, um, can't move, can't move, can't talk can't do anything she's a vegetable okay. so oh, well. um lowen is uh is like what the hell's this she finds a little manuscript that verity didn't want anyone to see she starts reading that shit in secret oh shit. and it turns out verity is messed up she's really really fucked up okay. sorry i'm sorry pardon my french yeah um so this book was absolutely terrifying to me. Um, it was definitely a page turner for Shizzle. That's what you wanted, um, right? You wanted yes. to be scary as well? I, really? I wanted to be scared. Um, this is not for uh, people who are mothers, probably, because um, it does have to do with kids. Um, so it's not pleasant. Um, Verity is not great as a human being. But it was super spooky and it was creepy and it was weird and I loved it. Um, the ending has you left like, what the hell? You know? Are you satisfied at the end? Um, I don't disturbed? know. Life doesn't end with neat little bows and neither does this book. Good. Just wow. gonna say that. <laughs> All right. So if you like that, 
Parody by Colleen Hoover, horror lovers. Parody, everybody. Yeah. Thank you, Lauren. <laughs> there she goes. It's it's oh, it's another successful God. bleeding rainbow from Slide Lauren. Slide that one right into my shell. Right, exactly. Yeah, let's have nightmares for the rest of our <laughs> lives together. Now this is exciting. It's time once again to play everybody's favorite Halloween game. Let's go to the cauldron. You know I love it, buddy. Now. Here's how we play. I'm gonna do a Do we out. have a cauldron? Go ahead, Stace. You can. We <gasps> have a cauldron. We have one right here. Basically, this is what you need. You need a cauldron. Mm -hmm. It's it's filled with uh, with with who knows what. I can't What's gonna see. happen is we're gonna have a couple people. We're gonna blindfold them. They're gonna reach into the cauldron. And something's gonna bite them. No, nothing's. Well, maybe something is gonna bite them, but they have to figure out what it is that they're touching. touching. Now, we thought it would make sense uh, if. Given the you know, given the adversarial relationship they often have, yep. if the ghost hunter and the ghost do at the same time play, let's go to the cauldron. So let's bring over. Where's Fritz? Bring Fritz over here, and bring over the ghost of uh, of Salem Public Access. Here they come. Here they come. Okay. Come on over here, ghost. Here comes Fritz. Okay, I'd Stacey, like if to you, serve, If you would, will yeah. you go get those blindfolds that are behind us? I'm back now. Yeah. So is this uh, ghost? Well, we got to make sure that they can't see a thing. <laughs> Ew, I like oh you. my gosh. I like you. <laughs> they got to make sure. Please, make sure um, securely fasten your... Ghost. No, I, I think the ghost might be able to see through I have that. no idea hey, ghost. if ghosts can see through blindfolds or not. I'm assuming they no. They can see through walls. We got to cover you up. This is, not the, this is not the brightest ghost. You cover my eyes. You better cover my eyes or I'll see. Really? You better cover my eyes. Throw, throw a punch his way and see if he flinches. Nope. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, I got, I wow, he looks fairly really weird. Yeah. Oh. oh, there you go. One for one for Fritz. Oh, Fritz. Here, there we go. All right. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. good. Is now, the microphone in my mouth? I cannot tell. All right. Uh, all right, Stacey. You're going to have to feel that one out. Do you want to you wanna sit here? Uh, yeah. Okay, there you go. I feel it. She's going she's gonna to go over there. Here, let's put there we, go. Sense. Here we go. Okay, so All right. here we go. Who wants to go first? How about you, Ghosty? Now, what's going to happen is... The cauldron is what's bubbling. Gonna, what's going to happen is uh, Lyrisa over there is going to show you, the viewer, what is in the cauldron, right? Correct. And then these guys aren't going to know, and they have to try to figure and out And I would encourage you to use as many of your senses as you can other than your eyeballs. Oh, I have a lot of senses. So <laughs> you exactly. can feel free to taste any of this garbage you want, okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. First one up. <gasps> Ghost to going first, yes? <laughs> I okay, really Ghosty, couldn't tell you. Here you go, bud. Get in there. Oh. Now, before uh, you I guess... I would consider using all your senses. Before you guess, uh, Larissa, show, them, show, the, show the people. Okay, here we go. Do you got that? You gotta hold it up closer, maybe. Ooh. <laughs> what could go. it be? What do you think? All right. Oh. Any ideas, Ghosty? My be? ectoplasmal senses <laughs> say it's it's some kind of uh, perchance <laughs> wet sand <laughs> with or, or like chocolate or something. Do you have any smells coming through that might help you? Sounds Can ghosts good. smell? I must say, I'm I'm looking at it and I don't know what it is. So. <laughs> Garbage can be crazy like that, yeah. huh? Unfortunately, ghosts don't seem to have very good senses of smell. All right. Well, I guess you don't get a point for this. All Sorry, right. How ghosty. about Fritz? Fritz, what is your guess? Any guesses? You want to get uh, in there? I, well, I'm going to follow your directions. I'm going to use all my senses that I have here. Okay. You could lick it if yeah, you want. Yeah, give it a lick. Give it a lick. Give it this a lick. is safe <laughs> to eat barely. <laughs> um. Any ideas? You know, when it's a late night and I go out ghost hunting, I like to drink coffee, and I'm getting a coffee vibe from mm. this. Is, it, is there a coffee in this? It's there not is a coffee in this. Okay, okay. And one other thing, any idea? Um, I'm gonna use more of my senses. I'm going to listen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen uh, up. Tell me what you are. What are you? <laughs> yeah, touch. I go, ooh, <laughs> it feels good. Oh, wow, uh, this is a central experience. Is, uh, Going to the cauldron is a central this experience is very naughty. for you, Fred. Is it, um, ooh, <laughs> this feels like something I would maybe have uh, pressed against me. Um, 
Mm. We got to move on. So you got is it you cake? Make a guess. Is it there's like cake in it? Is it? It's frost? pretty close. I'm gonna give him a point. Okay, okay. he's he's getting yeah. a point. What is it? What is that? This is coffee butter. Coffee butter. Oh. What the fuck is coffee butter? I don't know. It's is there a napkin I, I can I trash. can rub this coffee butter off my <laughs> gentle fingers with? What in the, oh uh, boy. But wait a minute, Ghosts you can't just say it's coffee napkin. butter and not explain what so coffee what is butter coffee is. coffee butter? Is coffee? It's just stuff I found in the trash, y'all. You found coffee <laughs> butter in the trash? Oh, oh. <laughs> is this the next item oh, here? Okay. Taste this too? I, feel like I we believe should, this to be a Clorox wipe. I feel like we should talk about this later, okay. about this coffee butter. Okay. We'll talk about it later. This is for you, Fritz. Okay. Oh, I'm. Uh, hold on one second. Here we uh, go. Ghost, here we go. <laughs> this microphone <laughs> wait, can I, can I see what it is? Okay. okay, all right, there we go. I wouldn't even bother cleaning your hands. Oh, yet. really? Okay. All right, next thing here. Uh, don't, maybe uh, don't eat this one out of extra precaution. Oh, Unless okay. you're inclined right. to. Okay, all right. Some kind of biological weapon. You see this one? You can smell it. <laughs> <laughs> see this one? Now, oh, Se yes, yes. Seems there like was, it has a strong sense. There was a case that Mike and I took one time. Uh... A haunted uh, <laughs> beach house. Uh -oh. An old seaman lived by the beach. <laughs> and he had a very hairy wife. And uh, I shook her hand and it felt a lot like this. Uh, wow. So this is a... Is it, it, there, there's beach sand. Is a beachy... Is this... That is. Is this... I'm getting a beach vibe. <laughs> I feel it. It's, What's it's, giving it's you summer. beach vibe? Oh, it does the ball So around. what would you what would you say that it is? Look, just just tell us what you think it is, Fritz, please. I think it... I think it's... Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a wig. It's a wig? <laughs> it's, a, it's, 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 it's old Greg's hair. Okay. <laughs> So it's, it's, it's a, he thinks it's a beach wig. All right, it let's, is sort of a beach wig. Let's, 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 let's bring it over to the to the ghost. All right, ghost, ghost get your hand in there. Get your hand in there. <laughs> oh my! Oh. oh, it is certainly sand and things. <laughs> I think it is. Hmm. So nasty. Hmm. Yeah. Go ahead. Is it perchance sand from the beach? Is there a cigarette in there? <laughs> is it sand from King's Beach in Lynn? Yes! It's from the ghost. It's, it's from the beach wow. that you haunted, ghost room. It's sea garbage. Yeah. Sea garbage. Sea garbage. There's oh. a cigarette in there. How did you know it was from King's Beach? Oh. I can feel my skin start to erode. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, after this experience, I could use a smoke. So wait a minute. So I, who gets I the point for that one? I, is it Gosh, I is think the ghost or is it Fritz? I think the ghost was a little more on target, but the ghost, Fritz really led him in the right direction. Yeah, he did, yeah. yeah I, let's, I let's give him half each. Okay. All right, good. Next, <laughs> next, next garbage, please. We have please. Fritz in the, there in we go. the lead. I mean, next spooky item from the call. Okay, this one's There we go. Uh, no cheating. I need to adjust my eyes. Okay, just don't cheat. I know. I'm not cheating. I didn't tell you. Who is this for? The ghost? Here we go. Oh, uh, sorry, sir. Sheet, you can't sheet. you can't put stuff under the ghost sheet. What are you doing, buddy? Sorry. I was going up your sheets. I'm really sorry that it, I right, should have asked. I'm calling the Hold police. It. <laughs> <laughs> Take it. Now, what is that, buddy? It's a bra insert. <laughs> How? Oh. <laughs> you have a lot no. of experience with these uh, bra inserts. <laughs> That's it looks right, like a tiny ghost. I didn't ghost. think you would get it so quickly. <laughs> this ghost gets around. <laughs> wow, good to know, ghost. Oh, yeah, Another point for you. Good for oh. you. <laughs> a lot of bras on stairs. Okay, you two are tied up now, okay? okay now they're tied up. Is this the tiebreaker here? I'm, v I'm feeling very free despite the fact that I'm tied up. <laughs> All right. Here we go. It. All right, oh, next. My hand is covered in... You're uh, really going to want to get there. in here. Okay, I, I see what it says there. Yep, that Wait. is... Okay, that's something. All right. <laughs> Oh, this okay. is not enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> this is... You really got to get in there to figure out what's going on in here. <laughs> Super sorry. Perhaps give it a taste. Maybe a little of it. A lick. This hmm. better not to be another <laughs> toilet bowl scrubber full of Alfredo sauce. It feels it feels like a, like a, a side from a Greek restaurant. Uh, <laughs> I, 
Uh, it right. feels like a. It there is that going on. Is that your There's a sauce in there. This is <laughs> this is obviously a Caesar salad wrap. Caesar salad wrap. I can. Sm- that's what he. That's what Fritz This is a Caesar is. salad wrap. That's okay. what this is. I had one for brunch the maybe, other day. Maybe it is. All right. Hand it over to the yeah. ghost. See what the ghost thinks. Ooh. If I did not have beach trash on my head still, I would probably have. Maybe maybe oh maybe just a little. It is certain. I'm feeling a wrap. It is some kind of. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. It seems what like uh, so. There's is? something else in there. You guys, yeah. you're on the right path, you two, with the rap, with mm. the rap, and then there's something else going on. <laughs> don't, don't, don't hmm. eat the buddy. Let them, let them. Let Sorry, I'm see. bad. Let's I'm go. leady. I'm very leady. Okay, buddy. <laughs> You've been leading me on. <laughs> All right, buddy. What are you? <laughs> All right, ghost. All right, All right ghost. <laughs> yeah, it smells very foul. Yeah. You <laughs> 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 mm. got a good gag going on I, uh, I, it's certainly a wrap perchance a wrap full of uh, s- sludge or something <laughs> oh boy uh, alright so a wrap full of sludge you still contend uh, Fritz that it's a Caesar it's a Caesar wrap it's a Caesar salad wrap yeah <laughs> All right. Uh, Close. Stacy, tell them so what it actually is. Most of the way there. There's a sock in there as well. Um, Which <laughs> restaurant puts a sock in? It's a, a sock salad sandwich. What? It's just that was what I found in the garbage on top it's of the It's a rack. sock sandwich, everybody. You never had one? Yeah, I mean, come on. Uh, get yeah, with I, it. I guess not. So no. you, you're still tied up. What oh, can we do? Tied up. Let's get the tie, tiebreaker here. Here we go. Let's have at it. This is one for, this is for all the... Oh. For all the spooky marbles. Is there a prize? I mean. Yes, there is a prize. <laughs> oh, as a matter of fact, I forgot one. to mention. This might be too easy. Too easy. The winner gets this. Uh, oh, is it my turn? Again? Giant. Uh, uh, this oh my gosh! Cheese balls. Of what? spooky pumpkin cheese balls. Pumpkin cheese balls. No, they're not pumpkin flavored. They just have a pumpkin on oh, the front. Oh, that would be extra. Gross. I don't know if this is going to help the ghost. I don't know if ghosts eat. Ghost, uh, this is gen- any idea? Certainly a unique, matter. Uh, certainly a unique object. Here, ghost, feel free to get yeah, in there. Fill that up. Fill it up. Get in the crevices. Mm. Oh, I have a good idea this of what this is. Finger those crevices. This oh. feels like some kind of. Um, is it like <laughs> dog toy? Mm. <laughs> dog toy. Uh, so d- may, may I? May I? Hold on. Yes, Think you spookier. may. Hold this for a second. Ghost. Yes. Yeah, you hold that. Maybe give it a lick. A kiss. <laughs> Kiss, kiss, kiss. You know what kiss. this sound? Yeah, kiss. Yeah, give it a lick. Give it a lick. Huh? That might help. <laughs> there you go. Is that helping at all? This feels like a. Mm. It's yep. very strong. Yeah. It feels kind of here. You that have a turn bad. with it. Let okay. All right. It. Let's see. <laughs> it feels mm. almost like coral, like a like some kind of like something. This is a tough one. I think yeah. hopefully. So give a uh, guess. Like, what's your guess? Fritz? Well, it's I'm like okay, it's sy- it feels like a coral, but a coral is not symmetrical, and that is symmetrical. Okay. So I'm going to say that is some kind of rare stone. Okay, rare stone. A rare, a rare stone. stone. All right, uh, ghost. What do you got? I think it must be some kind of bone or dog chew thing. It smells <laughs> oh, a seasoned. Bone. A good idea. Maybe a bone. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think this one goes to the ghost. It is. It's a turtle skull, actually. It's a turtle skull. Oh, wow. wow. Hold on. You made me lick a turtle skull. <laughs> yes. We did. All right. So is that is that is that all we got? Or we got one more. Is that it? Are we finished? We have more if we want to go for one it. More. One, one more. One more. One more. There we go. This is for all the. Because the ghost is leading now. Let's see if Fritz can... Oh, can, boy. Oh this boy. is a good one. Okay. I hope this the is the last one. This, time. this is the last one. Here we go. Don't Very be well. too eager. Okay. You, the ghost gets to go first. All right, ghost. Uh, Just this is carefully. A, this is an SM58 microphone. No, no. There you go. Just feel oh. around. There you go, ghost. Oh. Give a, give Get a your smell. fingers in there. Just feel around. Whatever you gotta do to feel like you know what's going on. Uh, feel is free it to put your hand in there, Fritz. Go ahead, Ooh, Fritz. Get your hand in there we too. Share. Get in there. Get in there, buddy. Oh, you okay. I, I listen to it. If I know. Like. I know what this is immediately. What is it, buddy? <laughs> Oh, I had a very strong brother one time. He was very strong, and and I have a feeling. Oh, oh, I like the feeling. It's a good feeling. I think this. I think this is eggs. <laughs> oh, you're right. It's raw eggs. Mm-hmm. Well, nice. it's a good he thing we didn't one. taste it. Yeah. So that's it. So what is it? It's a tie? 
It's a tie. It's a tie. You got to share the cheese ball. Ghost Hunter and Ghost together united. Party here balls. Are, here are your party balls. Enjoy them. There you go, everybody. Let's go to the cauldron. Uh. <laughs> nice. Oh. Everybody get out of here. Oh. Everybody out. Slimy. Yes. Slimy. Everybody out. Take your eggs with you. Okay. Take your eggs with you. That's the prize. Out. <laughs> and now, let's forget about all that. Let's get to something a little sexier than, than raw yeah, eggs, just if we may. Slightly sexier. We gotta end this on a hot note. <laughs> exactly. A little sexier? Much sexier. <laughs> something much sexier. You're gonna blow the bar out of the roof. Than raw <laughs> eggs. <laughs> out of the roof. She's uh she's this pop next off the pumpkin. Performer is just incredible. Beloved. How would you describe? Just beloved. Give us the give us give us an adjective. Quintessential, classic, best. So smart. So yummy, so organized, just the best. Organized. The best. Well, that's what we're looking for in our blessed dancers. Whatever. Organiz I just love this skills. person with all of my being. Uh, don't we all? Here she is, everybody, making a, her welcome return to the show. It's Pearl Buttons. Yeah. Woo! Everybody it is moist in here. That's just what we needed. Pearl, Pearl, come on over here, pal. Sopping. You know the drill, Pearl. Come on, buddy. I was escaping. That was just well, 
parts of me oh, were escaping, so, so I had to. Good. Oh, I see what you're saying. Almost <laughs> a, oh, a tuck ward, everybody back in a there. A wardrobe malfunction yes. is what was it happening. It is referred to as popping a pasty. Popping a pasty. All right. <laughs> Welcome back. You know, it's been a couple years since we were on TV together. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> now we've returned. Now, a lot of people in this past couple of years... When they couldn't do what it is that they usually do, normally we're on TV, normally you're doing burlesque, we weren't allowed to do that for a while. I wonder what it is you spent your time doing. Did you learn any new hobbies? Do you have any new uh, occupations or crafts or, or, or interests that you developed during these past couple of years, buddy? Uh, well, I did a lot of virtual shows, which is okay. learning how to edit, which I'm not very good at. I hate it. I learned how to do uh, it too, and All I the drag it. queens are doing like these like really cool music videos, and I'm like, there's a camera, I'm gonna take my clothes off, that's it. Um, so, you know, pretty much what yeah. I do here. Yeah. I also had OnlyFans for a little while, so that was fun. Oh, right. OnlyFans, yeah. Got to keep the money coming in. Sure. So. I, uh, I had high hopes for myself. Didn't really, didn't really, nothing really panned yeah, out. Yeah, I didn't learn anything new. Good. Good. I thought it was just me. I'm really glad no, to hear that. I, like, I was like, oh, I'll like have a new hobby. I'll like learn yeah. a thing. But the thing is, if I have a new hobby, I will try to monetize it. <laughs> and that's just not healthy. I don't need another job. No, you're right. Exactly. I really don't. I was like, I'm going to learn Spanish. I don't know Spanish. Yeah, no one's paying you to learn Spanish. <laughs> you want to you talk to my grandma? She can help. Like, does, she, does she speak she's Spanish? She's from Puerto Rico, yeah. I slacked a lot yeah. in Drake Manhattan's. Slacked and then like I was like, let me let me reduce it a little bit, get make it a little easier. I'm going to learn how to make fried dough. Didn't learn how to do that either. <laughs> I was going to make challah bread. The thing is with frying, you have to figure out what to do with the oil. You have to cool it and then drain it through cheesecloth, and it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. I don't know about the cheesecloth, so good yeah, to know. You can't be naked while you're frying either. True. <laughs> yeah. This is a, that's very important. You have to wear clothes. It's funny because I did same, do a lot of things naked for the first time the in same, COVID. The, it's the same thing. Well, like, you were so, living alone, weren't you? Yeah, naked. So alone. I was like, uh, I'm gonna. I told, the, I told the <laughs> wife, who is Stacy, who is the director of the show, the I, I'm gonna learn how to make fried dough, and she's like, Yeah, well, where are you gonna put the oil? It's the first thing she said. <gasps> Down See, the drain. This, Stacey and I are on the same wavelength. Yeah. Toilet, too, you flush it. Too practical. No, that's so bad. Oh shit. Too practical. That's I'm not so thinking the about what to do about the oil. Down the drain. I'm thinking about eating the fried okay, dough. Okay, just PSA. Kelly's do not put a, oil down your drain. Kelly's having a plumbing catastrophe at home right now. She doesn't even know. You will it. literally <laughs> clog your entire drain because it will solidify. Have you been in pouring the oil down the drain this whole time? I'm sorry. I thought uh -oh. you said toilet at some point. I have done. What both. you want to do is put it in a jar, a seal jar that's sealable. When it's full, seal the jar and throw the jar in the garbage. I thought if you oh, put oil yeah. down the toilet, then when you go to the bathroom, it makes it smoother to... Okay. Nope. <laughs> mm -mm. That does make sense. More I can like see you where... I don't, I don't see the logic, and it's definitely Cause not you're, correct. Because you're lubing up the pipes. And yeah. I'm really impressed that you haven't had to call a plumber. Not yet. Uh, let's talk about it. It's the week before Halloween. It's definitely not mid-September right now. It's no. the week before mm -hmm. Halloween. So let's talk a little bit about Halloween in the in the Pearl Buttons household growing up. Oh, now, growing up. Yeah, growing oh, okay. up. Like young Pearl Buttons. Okay, baby Pearl. Baby uh -huh. Pearl. What were you looking back? What were some of your fave Halloween costumes growing up? There must so, have been something where okay, like so you were when like, I was mom, in elementary school, be, my yeah. mom always made my costumes and then okay. my parents got divorced, she got busy. Um and then in middle school my friend Olivia and I always waited to October 30th yep. and decided on a group costume and just like like closet cosplayed it. Sure, yeah. And one year we were Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy okay. completely made out of things we had in our own closets, oh, which beautiful. tells you a lot about my yeah. hoarding yeah. tendencies. Okay. Uh, Raggedy Ann and Andy, that's a good one. Uh, uh, did you do other group costumes? Um, Elmer's glue one year. Um, Bubblegum stuck to a shoe because hmm. um, nice. we both had pink sweatsuits so, because it was the 90s and early 2000s. Wait a minute. So. How is that like... What is bubble gums? You wear a pink sweatsuit with a hood and you sh glue a shoe to the hood. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. We had a day, man. Yeah, you did. Yeah. All right. Uh, when you were out uh, collecting candy, that's what you do. Yes. You go and trick or treating. Yeah. Go to yeah. strangers' houses. People you go yeah. strangers do houses. that, right? Oh, yeah. I have a good story. Here oh, go. my God. Oh okay. Boy. So. One year, Olivia convinced me to watch Nightmare on Elm Street or one of the Freddy Krueger things. Let me ask you this. Yes. Where is Olivia now? I have no idea. No idea? No idea. I think oh, she's still in our touch. hometown. I don't touch. know. We lost touch in high school. <laughs> anyway, so we watched Nightmare, for, um, or Nightmare on Elm Street or 
something yep. and i do not like scary movies i am very easily frightened yeah so i was terrified we went trick-or-treating there was a door in my neighborhood in like the bad part of my neighborhood that had burn marks on it and we knocked mm. and then we like heard someone like shuffling towards the door and we screamed and ran away and i am to this day afraid of going down that street it was freddie's brother this is like this is like 20 years later i'm afraid of going down that street Whoa. Incredible. maybe we could take you there that's no. You're, also, you're why interested. why would we want to go to my hometown? It's a terrible place. Well, listen. Right. I hope it's a very exciting Halloween. Thank for you. you. I'll yeah. be working. So. All right. Uh, in a minute, we're gonna get to the plugs. So stay here. But let me tell everybody, uh, this has been a great show. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank you to the Ghost Chasers, Fritz and Mike. Thank you to the Ghost. Thank you to the Ghost. <laughs> I'm sure you were busy doing ghost shit to come out and spend some time with us it is it's october is a busy month for ghosts yep. oh the busiest thank you uh pearl buttons thank you hammered saint all right let's get to the before we get to the plugs let me tell you that next week we're going to meet a salem tour guide that's exciting good we don't have to go on the tour we can just ask them yep we'll enjoy some uh s- spooky uh surlesque from the great lucky charming hey. 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 surlesque and uh, we're going to eat some donuts and a string. What? Yeah. All right. Good to know ahead of time. Everybody loves that. It's really going to be something. So stay tuned to this channel. And we're going to see you next week on the on the Heavy Leather Topless Horror Show. But before we go, it's time to do the plugs. Now, remember, Pro Buttons. Yes. I don't know why this would be difficult for you. But remember, it's not the middle of September. It's the week before Halloween. Of course it is. Yeah, then, it's so definitely. Think, so think I about know what month it is. Think about that when you're doing your plugs <laughs> about what you'll honest, be doing. I haven't known what month it is since March of 2020. When when you're talking about what would be happening in the future for you, okay. All right. keep in mind that right now, as we speak, it's the week before Halloween. Here Got we go. It. Here we go. What do you what do you what do you do oh, like to plug? Oh, oh, me now. Oh, yes, okay. you now. I was waiting for it. I'm so used to other people crowding No, no, the you couch. get to go first. Anyway, so uh, here in Salem at the Old Town Hall, we are uh, presenting Haunted Speakeasy. Wow. Yes. Formerly located in Worcester, now up here in Salem. Lucky you guys. Yes. Um, it is a night of burlesque, drag, live music, haunted house, <gasps> photo booth. <gasps> where wear black or a costume or Nikki Luparelli will kick you out. I'm not kidding. She has. Don't risk it. And you don't get a refund. Would you call it a spook easy? Ooh. Oh. Oh. How have we not thought of that? There's still Why, time. She's the queen There's of Halloween over there. How did we not know? All Wait, right. when I is gotta, it? When? I gotta call Nikki when we're done here. When is, when is the spook easy? Uh, it is every Saturday in October and then Halloween weekend we will be there Friday which Saturday is, and Sunday, which, which is, next, is Halloween. Which is next yes. weekend. So this well, week... I don't know what day of the week this airs. You're going to be this, dancing your ass off. I, well, October is burlesque Christmas. So every Saturday, you said, except for the last week. Every, when it's Saturday, Friday, Saturday, every Saturday. Saturday in October, except Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Halloween weekend. Okay, we'll be there. What do we have to do when we get there? Nothing. No, you just have to show up in either all black or yeah. a costume that's not a superhero that's costume. That's thing. Yeah. Always do yeah. that. You're Always good. In black. You, guys yeah. are, you guys are fine. I'm not worried. Okay, great. So uh, that's really exciting. We're all going to be there. Now, who else? Uh, let's bring over uh, the, the, uh, the dinosaur, Lyrsa. Here she comes, everybody. Lyrsa, come on over. <laughs> Mostly we just want to see that dinosaur dance. Get, come like, on over here. Come, come, come on. Here. Come here. Just plop just, down. Just, <laughs> You know what's so fun is the hug, <laughs> hugging the dinosaur. All right. Yeah, there you go. go so ahead. my art is still at the virtual gallery of the Cambridge Adult Education Center. Yep. Go online to check it out. You can also buy it. Okay. And if it's already sold, I have more at home. And you can also visit my Etsy store. Yep. It's available on my Instagram. It's L Y R S dot art yeah and you can go to my etsy store and buy my art thank you thank you i don't know why everybody thinks that they can just fill up the dinosaur it's it's a weird impulse you're right (laughs) yeah all right let's bring lauren over lauren come on over here the energy warrior lauren here she comes she likes to plug her socials hey hi again um (laughs) I want to plug my socials. Uh, hit me up at Lomain Pandas on Instagram and at Lauren Loves Books for pictures of books and my reviews of them, guys. 
we and love books. Uh, we love books. We love books here. Um, and I think that's it this okay, week. Thank you. I don't really thank you. We love a good hard cover. Where's the ghost chasers? Do they have anything to? One of them looks. Like, a couple of those guys look like rock and roll guys. Maybe they got something to say. Oh, here comes Fritz. Fritz, you got something you want to plug? Behind you. What's he doing behind me? There we go. What? <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Yes, I have something I'd like to plug. <laughs> I'd like to say that uh, you keep chasing ghosts out there, all you curious people. I love chasing ghosts. I love poor people chasing ghosts. It's still so much fun. Ah. But I would also, I would also, sorry, I would also like to plug uh, Heavy Decker, PBD's finest rock and roll band, yes, a very yeah. raucous group of boys. Yes, yeah. they're good boys. Yeah. Uh, they will be playing. <laughs> A high voltage, full throttle, two burning rock and roll show at Koto uh, in Salem on December 10th. So after everything spooky is passed, if you want to rock out, you'll be there. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Fritz. We'll, we'll we'll check out this heavy necker. Sounds uh, like thing. he knows the guys. I love uh, heavy necker. Uh, let's see. The ghost is the ghost of. Uh, of the studio, have something to, no. to plug? What, you might. What do ghosts plug? Who knows? That's what we'll find out. What do you get to plug? Well, I would like to plug a yup, an up-and-coming young band full of teenagers from Somerville, Massachusetts <laughs> okay. by the name of Adult Magazine. You can check them out at Adult Magazine on Instagram. That's spelled A-D-U-L-T underscore magazine, except the I is a one. Key, that's very important. The I is a one. And there, we may have some uh, upcoming shows. We don't know yet, but b perchance by the... It is October. <laughs> it is October, but perchance we will have things in October. So that's why you should go there and find out. Thank you, Ghost. <laughs> and finally, let's move over to our house band, Hammered Saint, and see exactly what they... Now, they have a gig coming up now. Yeah, they just played one. Well, they just you just played yeah, one. Yeah, they just rocked they out. Give them. Great. Oh, really well. oh, did it go well? Okay, good. Do you guys remember? Do you guys remember the bands that you played with? Oh man, there was. It was yeah. Wild Night. Um, a lot, a lot. Yeah. There were a lot of scorpion bowls, so yeah. it was at Kodo. We forget. <laughs> Okay, so so do you guys got anything coming up, uh, Hammered Saint? You know, we're uh, we're just gonna really just be getting hammered in our monastery until someone hires us. So okay, we're available. We are available. <laughs> so there you go, everybody. That's uh, I think that's all the, the Kelly. Uh, do you have any plugs? No. Okay, Stacy, do you have any plugs? Oh, I have a plug. No. Um, so if you like podcasts and you like horror movies, then you probably know this, but we have a weekly podcast. The Heavy Leather Horror Show podcast. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Comes it comes out every Tuesday. You can find us on Spotify, iTunes. How, where else do people get their podcasts from? Yeah, wherever you get Ouija your podcasts. Ouija board, from. Dream Phone, wherever. <laughs> the Dream Phone, exactly. Well, there you go, everybody. That's it. This is the part of the show where we dance. We'll see you next week on the Heavy Leather Topless Horror Show.
Chase 